When it comes to facing the deadly threat of snake bites, having a reliable source of antivenom can mean the difference between life and death. But did you know that the key to creating this life-saving treatment might lie in an unexpected place? The blood of sheep? Welcome everyone to Sheep Goat Insights, where today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of antivenom production and uncovering the truth behind the question. Is antivenom really made from sheep blood? Stick around and let's unravel the science behind this medical marvel. So, how is antivenom actually made? It all starts with sheep's blood. Extracting antibodies from their blood and purify them to create a powerful treatment for snake bites. But why sheep? Well, turns out sheeps are unique because their blood can produce antibodies that effectively combat snake venom. Let's delve into the intricate manufacturing process to understand how this all comes together. Creating antivenom is no easy task. First, selected sheep are exposed to controlled amounts of venom to build up immunity. Their bodies then produce antibodies, which are collected from their blood. These antibodies are refined, concentrated, and undergo rigorous testing to ensure safety and efficacy. But before antivenom hits the market, it must meet strict regulations. Different countries have their own rules, classifying antivenoms as monovalent or polyvalent depending on their effectiveness against specific snake species. Safety is paramount, ensuring patients get the right medicine without causing harm. Now, let's explore the differences between monovalent and polyvalent antivenoms. Monovalent targets a specific snake species, while polyvalent covers multiple species. The antibody composition and cross-neutralization properties vary, impacting their effectiveness. Understanding these differences is crucial in developing and administering effective treatments. Unfortunately, there's currently a shortage of anti-venom for the New World Coral Snake, posing challenges in treating its bites. Additionally, different families of venomous snakes require specific anti-venoms, raising concerns about comprehensive coverage. It's a critical issue that needs attention for the safety of those at risk. Let's take a step back and explore the historical context. Venom has long been seen as a threat, leading to ancient beliefs in the healing properties of animal blood. The discovery of antivenom, especially the role of lamb's blood in ancient myths, has shaped our understanding of using animal blood for medicinal purposes. What does the future hold for antivenom production? Researchers are exploring alternatives, from synthetic antibodies to biotechnological advancements. The goal is to create more effective treatments that can combat a wide range of snake venoms. Stay tuned as we unravel the cutting-edge developments in this critical field. The use of sheep's blood for anti-venom production opens up intriguing possibilities. The unique properties of sheep blood may lead to more effective and accessible treatments for venomous bites. Research into this innovative approach is ongoing offering hope for improved antivenom options globally. There's even more to uncover. Head over to our blog post for a deep dive into the science, history, and future of antivenom. The blog post expands on the topics we've touched on in this video, offering additional insights and details that you won't want to miss. The link is in the description below. If you found this exploration into antivenom fascinating, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Sheepgoat Insights.